13. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Amori. Uh, we finished up the desert last time, and now... I didn't mean to hit that, I meant to hit... The tag button. Good job, Bobbery. Good job, Bob. You got jam packets. Neat. They're just jam packed. Anyway. Now, we're gonna head over. I'll meet you guys in just a second. Could also heal while I'm here. Don't remember if I had done that, so. train station, which means we just need to head left at the stump. Okay. So we're not getting over our fear of drowning today, but... Here we are. The Pyrefly Forest. Hell yeah. Ugh. And second thought, let's look for Basil somewhere else. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. Don't be such a baby, Kel. There's no- there's- there are just some spider webs here and there. Ugh. Ah! There's a spider in your hair! What? Where? Get it off! <laughs> just kidding. Look who's scared- the scared one now. <laughs> it's not very funny, Kel. All right. There's an empty joke book here. Hell yeah. You got the joke book. Tentacle. A tentacle is poking out of the ground. Everywhere. The surface of the water is shimmering. Do you want to throw ten clams in the lake? Hell yeah. Oh. Uh, hey, it's me, Whipping Will, the goddess of the lake. Thank you for the clams, I guess. They say that money can buy you happiness, but apparently it's not working. Can you do something funny for me? Maybe tell a joke? I actually can't. I don't know any yet. Really? You called me out here for nothing. Uh, what a waste of time. I will go back and get the jokes later. I remember where a few of them are. Two of them? Three of them? Somewhere in there. That is completely valid, Krim. Glad to see they designed something that just makes you fit here for like 30 seconds, 45 seconds, for no benefit. Alright. You need a matchbox to light this. Not an interesting book. Hmm. What to read? What to read? Huh. I've read every book on the shelf over 20 times already. If only I had something more interesting to read. An uninteresting book. Alright. I have to look for an interesting book, apparently. I'm assuming I need the fire to get rid of the spider so I can cut down the web. But no way. Hero is afraid of spiders. The bug bunny. Dude, this one actually kinda hurts. Oh, 
but definitely goes down pretty easily. It's weaker than the desert ones. Alright. Heroizing Hero in Fear is not a good effect, though. You got a matchbox. Oh, yeah. I wonder how many are in it. Maybe 20? Sprout Mole? Okay. While I'm thinking about it, Fofax. Did I read this? Yeah, I did. Snow Bunny. Kick snow at you when it's angry. Capable of creating the world's smallest... Okay, I did read that. Toast Ghost. An unamused apparition that sprouts ominous phrases like... When there is no more room in hell, the bread shall walk the earth. That's funny. This one looks kind of like you, Amori. I get it. Sad. Gingerbread man, maybe a little sad, but definitely not dead. That doesn't even rhyme. An abomination. Truly appalling. <laughs> celery. Did you know that eating celery burns more calories than you get from it? It's because you gotta chew it. Everyone knows that, Kel. Ginger. Scientific name? Zingiber officinale, a flowering plant whose rhizome is widely used as spice in folk medicine, it is an herbaceous perennial which grows annual pseudo pseudostems about a meter tall, bearing a narrow leaf blades. All right, cilantro, scientific name, coriandrum sativum, stats one per 100 grams, energy 22.7 calories, vitamin K 310 uh, MCG. Potassium, 521 mg. Iron, 1.77 mg. Are coriander and cilantro the same thing? Yes. Yes, they are. Cal, why do you know that? I know why you know that. Why do you know that? Sprout honey, kind of cute. Might be vegan. I'm 100% sure this is vegan. Pretty sure this is vegan. Definitely not vegan. Okay. Porcupine, a rejected dessert... Sentenced to wander the wasteland for an eternity. Was its flavor too sharp? <laughs> Get it? SS Snake, aka Strawberry Short Snake. A uh, short snake with a long name. Pancake Bunny, a cute forest bunny that sports its fallen brethren as a fashionable hat. Milkshake Bunny, a forest bunny with a milkshake strapped to its back. The Cupcake Bunny, an evil cupcake parasite that has taken a poor forest bunny as its host. The forest bunny's eyes are filled with silent screams. Horrifying. Bun Bunny. Kind of cute. Might be vegan. Is this vegan? Not sure if vegan. Definitely not vegan. Sprout Mole. A Sprout Mole? Is this Sprout Mole upside down, or are we the ones who are upside down? The Bug Bunny. Actually an arthropod. It likes cold temperatures and rolls uh, down steep hills for amusement. The hobby, was gained, the hobby has gained so much traction that they now hold a yearly hill rolling competition. Uh, is that all of them? Yep. Cool. The berry smoothie. I'll try to remember for next time which ones I've already read. And keep that up. The hell are you? Heroes afraid of spiders. The potted plant. Nice, right in the heart. Five hundred seventy-seven XP. Nice. It is a really solid amount of XP. The spiders go towards the fire. That's weird. The hell? I just got wall mastered. Okay. 
So there's a wall master around here. Got it. Gotta hurry or else it'll grab me. A wooden track. Hey, Adora. How you doing? I can't find my teddy bear anywhere. The last time I had him, I'm pretty sure I was running through a big pink castle. If you ever find him, could you return him to me? I bet he's really lonely. A big pink castle, huh? Haven't seen anything like that in the past. Well, welcome. It's missing a segment? Yeah, the wooden track goes there. Hey, Mary. This place is really overgrown, isn't it? You're also brave for going through this forest. There's even an old minecart running through here. I wonder what it's used for. Do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Hell yeah. How are you handling your fear of spiders, hero? <sighs> Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. You're doing great, hero. Keep at it. Breathe in, and breathe out. More used to be scared of spiders too, but look at him now. Not even a flinch. Look how brave he's being. Wow, so brave. Yeah, so brave. Cat ears. Put on the cat ears. I have Benoi ears currently, so are, how do the cat ears compare? Defense plus one, speed plus ten. Well, obviously the bunny ears are better. Defense plus one, speed plus ten. Honestly, getting better speed with Hero might save me. Do you need to tell my family about this? Now that I think about it, gotta see my friends. I got a wooden track. This is a neat little segment. Oh, and I... Yeah, no, I, I am healed. Okay, cool. Okay, I got a present. Uh, is that an important item? So it's a toy, I guess? Yeah, it's not what you want. It inflicts anger on a foe or friend. Okay. That's silly. All right. Oh, you're an enemy. The rare bear. I'm a headbutt ya. Hey, 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 hey.
Uh, is it that they're about to die? Sure, what, what kind of hints? Okay, so I could stop from attacking if I made it not angry, but I made it dead instead. Well, I can't do anything over here because my fear of water is crippling. What the heck is this thing? It's kind of slimy. It smells like bad apples. There's more force on the other side of this huge lump. Come on, Aubrey. Smash the thing to smithereens. Oh, what's this? You're asking me for help, Kel. How rare. Step aside. I'll show you all how it's done. I'm going to give this strange lump all I've got. It's not going to do anything. I need the minecart. Well, this is embarrassing. I guess we should find another way past this thing. Yes. Let's do that. Well, at least neither of them pushed the issue. This looks like a job for a Mori. So... The web is too strong to be cut. Interesting. <gasps> kitty! My wall? That's not a kitty! That was, in fact, not a kitty. I've been deceived, I've been bamboozled. Okay, so the fire is a way to get past the spiders, even in this kind of area. So if I aggro the cat, I can use that to escape. But only for a moment. Uh, I do want this down here. A faux tail, also known as a fox tail. Let's see, the faux tail. Not a real tail. Speed plus 15. It just isn't as good as the other stuff I have. What? It turned into a computer. A stump and nothing else. What was a bug? Oh, it wasn't supposed to turn into a PC. Yeah, it turned into the PC in my room, which is as sprite that's also used by those cats, right? By Mawo? Oh. 
Is there another way to go over here? There was. Okay. Stop trying to block my path. I'm not afraid. Basil! You got the magical bean. It's a magical fruit. Yeah, you can't trick me. There was more there. Mary's picnic basket. Would you like to save? Yeah. Welcome to the Lost Forest. We find things you never knew we were lost in the first place. Hello, Daddy Longlegs. Or perhaps they're forgotten for a reason. Okay. All right. Typical Lost Wood style. Top right. Yep, yeah, top right. I suppose we all hold secrets. No matter how lost or deep down we bury them, they find their way back to the other side. To the right. A ghost bunny. Spooky! Oh, I didn't actually follow the shadow. I looked up and saw some weird flowers up in the forest, and I went, hmm, like, there's probably something there to interact with. Okay. Stop eating my juice. XP. Trying to lose yourself, or have you finally have you accomplished that already? Either way, this is the right place for you. Perhaps that's why you've come here to finish the job. Or maybe I'm just trying to find something that was already lost. You ever think about that? Floats in place. hero. You didn't do enough to kill it. Nine hundred XP. Oh, bunny exterminator. Defeat one hundred bunnies. Achievement get. So I go left here. I've gone left and I've gone up left. Let's go up right. Okay. So we go left. I mean, I just did it because, you know, I do it. Usually we tend to do things we want as opposed to things we say we do. I've never been one for wants. I'm more of a need kind of person. I suggest you look for the exit before your needs become more apparent. You picked up a pearl. The, this journey is too arduous for those faint of heart. Do you wish to leave, children? I will not blame you. Left, right. So I'm not going right. I'm not going down right. Instead, I go top left. Yep. You're still here. You must have either given up or you have fully embraced your fate. A confession, perhaps, but I'm not the one to tell. Top left? Nope.
I'm sure this is a case where you just have to look for something that's different than all the other paths. Like this one's out of the way over here. Huh, 69, nice. Is 69 an Amori reference? 24 and learn to share food. Uh, share food. Hero and a friend recover some heart. Oh. Ah, uh, that has a use. Okay, let's go top right. Nope, should have gone right. Okay, so I go right here. I go far top left up here. Mid right over here. No, I guess it's down? Unless there's just a path I'm not noticing. Which is possible. Yep, alright. There was a boy wandering around here before, very similar to you. He went into the darkness and never came out. How regretful it must have been to never find what he was looking for. Be a regret, defeat, or confusion, no one will know. Basil? The lamp was lit recently. Alright, gotta go down. Nope. Alright, so top left. Mid right. Top left. Bottom. Um, I went down before, so I go left this time. Yep. I've seen lost and I've seen blind, but the combination is unsettling. Perhaps you were hiding away from the from the right way. I feel like it's right here. No, I don't need a guide. I do this in a lot of games. Just kind of memorize your way. Before any kind of battle happens or whatever. Uh, let's go down to juice. Has the juice. It has the juice. Uh, sure. You can explain it now that I've already done it. I just test things until they work. You've reached the end of the Lost Forest, but the beginning of the truth. I'll tell you a story that has been lost through time. A story about the creation of this reality. In the beginning, there ex only existed two. The Dreamer and his room. The Dreamer grew weary of his room and created a door that led to many different worlds. Walking the paths as a visitor of these worlds, the Dreamer would come and go as he pleased. Slips and falls, tumbles and drops. The Dreamer's curiosity and clumsy exploration eventually led him to a certain world. One not like the others. One painted with chaos and bathed in darkness. The Dreamer slowly became filled with dread. Quite as they may have been. Words of malice quietly crept into his mind. Sorry, yawning a bit. Whispering lies, secrets, and truths. Powerless to silence the noise, the dreamer manifested benevolent entities in his different worlds. Then he compounded the, his worlds above the Dark Realm. Very easily, actually. I'm glad I caught that pretty much me. Also, I'm a subscriber to myself? What the hell? Nice. 
Then he compounded his worlds above the Dark Realm. You will surprise me? Nice. Sealing it with their combined might. Yet despite his valiant efforts, the Darkness' presence never abated. Even with new allies, the Darkness continued to scrape and scratch at the back of the Dreamer's mind. The noise might have subsided, but it never went away. The Dreamer could run and bury away his fears, but one still has to face his own reflection. What the Dreamer had created was something he could not be a part of, something outside himself. The Dreamer's own power was his greatest adversary. Knowledge or the absence of it would become the Dreamer's greatest gift. To truly escape the perils of his own faculty and ascend to a blissful state of ignorance, only then would the noise cease to agitate the Dreamer's sanity. Well, I shall wait patiently. I love surprises, so... So I didn't realize that Krim was still in Ad Hell. Oh, no longer in Ad Hell. I saw Adora say that they were out of ads, so I just started reading again. Sorry about that. So the Dreamer took on another name and chose to forget himself. From that time on, the Dreamer had lived amongst us simply as an inhabitant of this world, traveling along blissfully ignorant of his own fabrication. Children, I must warn you, as with all things that are born in and out of this world, an end will threaten this one too, though the dreamer may have subdued the inexorable. Inexorable? Yeah, inexorable. Uh, the darkness grows still. No bandage can stifle an eternal wound, and there will be a time when its influence will bleed through. Forgetful... The dreamer may be of the peril, a peril never forgets to be. Yet, the end of this world may be an inevitability. The dreamer is the only one with the ability that can truly set this world free. Uh, my guy? My guy, you're on fire. You're on fire? You just burned yourself to ash. That was horrifying. Damn. I am in misery. I do need to set up a bunch of channel stuff. I should do that after the stream. Uh... In a lost pyre's flame. H. Damn, H is not correct. I didn't figure it probably would be. I need a K and L. Um a P, so it's probably a black place. Something of black place? In black place? On? I don't know. Something similar to that, if not that. Oh, whichever direction had the ghost may. I never even read the message before. Alright. Well, I escaped the forest. I learned a bit more story. Ish. I guess most of the stuff I already figured, but, you know. It does explain why I'm called a Mori here.
Where are you going, Mori? Please don't leave me here. Mori, I could probably use a little help here. Okay, I'm gonna not free Kel real quick and see what he says. Uh, Mori, I think you're forgetting somebody. So, was there not anything else to do here? Yeah, no, it appears that I did it. I really thought I was going to find one of the things around here. Whatever. Um, I guess that's everything I need to do here. You're afraid of spiders, I know. Right in the heart. Okay. So I'm still missing a segment. So where be? Hello, stranger. I am Mush, and my lifelong dream has always been to eat, be eaten and enjoyed. Will you finally grant my wish and eat me? Uh, thank you, stranger. You don't know how grateful I am for this. You got Mush. Mush, can't wait to be eaten. Makes a friend slightly stronger. Oh. Um... I guess let's feed this to Aubrey. Mush was full of excitement as he was being chewed. Uh, Mush granted one heart, one juice, one attack, one defense, one speed, and one luck to Aubrey. Hell yeah. I figure Aubrey was a good match for that because, you know, she uh, already is pretty much the heaviest hitter. So getting all those would be nice. All right, save real quick. All right, guys, next time on Let's Play Amori, we're going to finish up the Pyrefly Forest, probably, and don't know what else. It's all a mystery for me. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.